All right, everybody, welcome back. In this episode, we're taking Jeremiah chapter 28. And we'll just jump right into the first verse. We're going to talk about Hananiah, who is a false prophet. Okay? So verse 1, And it came to pass the same year, in the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah, king of Judah, in the fourth year, and in the fifth month, that Hananiah, the son of Azur the prophet, which was of Gibeon, spoke unto me in the house of the Lord, in the presence of the priests and all the people, saying... So Hananiah is that false prophet that he's he's claiming that he's speaking, uh, speaketh the Lord of hosts. And the, when it mentions the beginning, that's the first half of uh, the reign of Zedekiah. All right, verses 2 and 3. Thus speaks the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, saying, I have broken the yoke of the king of Babylon. Within two years I will bring again into this place all the vessels of the Lord's house that Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, took away from this place and carried them to Babylon. So here's one of those false prophets saying that in two years all the things that were stolen from the temple are going to be returned. All right, verses 4 through 6. And I will bring again to this place Jeconiah, the son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, with all the captives of Judah that went into Babylon, says the Lord, for I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon. Then the prophet Jeremiah said unto the prophet Hananiah in the presence of the priest, and in the presence of all the people that stood in the house of the Lord, even the prophet Jeremiah said, Amen, the Lord do so. The Lord perform thy words which thou hast prophesied, to bring again the vessels of the Lord's house, and all that is carried away captive from Babylon into this place. So Jeremiah has a note of sarcasm here, if you haven't picked that up already. Okay? Verses 7 through 9. Nevertheless, hear you now this word that I speak into your ears, and in the ears of all the people. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. The prophet which prophesied of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord has truly sent him. So Deuteronomy chapter 18 verses 21 and 22 is the test of a prophet to see whether they're a false prophet or a true prophet. And so if the thing that the prophet says is of the Lord, it will come true. And if it doesn't, they're supposed to kill him. So this false prophet, Hananiah, comes along saying, hey, all this stuff is going to happen. You know, Babylon's going to get crushed and everything from the uh, temple is going to come right back and everything's going to be just fine. And Jeremiah basically says, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I think uh, he's... There's a bit of sarcasm there. He's like, amen. You know, let's test your theory, essentially. Verse 10. Then Hananiah the prophet took the yoke from off the prophet Jeremiah's neck, and he broke it. So now Hananiah takes the symbolic yoke that Jeremiah was wearing on his neck, and he breaks it. Okay, verses 11 through 14. And Hananiah spake in the presence of all the people, saying, Thus saith the Lord, even so will I break the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, from the neck of all nations within the space of two full years. And the prophet Jeremiah went his way. Then the word of the Lord came into Jeremiah the prophet, after that Hananiah the prophet had broken the yoke off the neck of the prophet Jeremiah, saying, Go and tell Hananiah, saying, Thus says the Lord, Thou hast broken the yokes of wood, but thou shalt make for them yokes of iron. For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I have put a yoke of iron upon the neck of all these nations, that they may serve Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and they shall serve him, and I have given him the beast of the field also. So it's fascinating that this is always in there. He is the only king in the Gentile dominion that I know that has the beast of the field also. All right, fascinating. Verse 15, Then said the prophet Jeremiah unto Hananiah the prophet, Hear now, Hananiah, the Lord said, uh, has not sent thee, but thou makes this people to trust in a lie. So Jeremiah is now confronting Hananiah, right? Basically saying, the Lord hasn't sent thee. All right, verse 16, 17, Therefore thus says the Lord, Behold, I will cast thee from off the face of the earth. This year shall you die, because thou hast taught rebellion against the Lord. So Hananiah the prophet died the same year in the seventh month. So if you go back to verse 1 of the chapter, the Holy Spirit took the trouble to show that this started in the fifth month, 
And this boastful false prophet said that in two years, I will have all this stuff back here. And he dies in two months, right? Lo selako in Hebrew means he has not sent you in verse 15. In other words, God has not sent Hananiah. And the word here in terms of casting you off the face of the earth is me salake, which is almost the same word. It's almost like a play on words. Lo means not. Uh, he has not sent you. Uh, but he's going to send you off the face of the earth. And so what's hidden in the pun in the Hebrew, what God is saying through Jeremiah is that you came to be sent, but you are not. And I'm going to send you off the face of the earth. Okay. So at the at the time that Hananiah is going through this false prophet routine, we know from archaeological evidence called the Babylonian Chronicle that at this time Nebuchadnezzar had his hands full quelling a local revolt in Babylon itself. And it starts to give you a feeling why Hananiah had the audacity to be optimistic that Babylon was going to fall. Right? He was going off of what he knew in the news at that time. All right. <clears throat> and people will make the same end time prophecies looking at the news today. You be careful. We should be looking at what the Lord says. Um, that is chapter 28. Thank you for joining me.